In this video, I'll show you how to get up and running in a matter of minutes with the Wanboard Duel from Future Electronics. All you'll need to follow along is a computer, a micro SD to SD adapter, a micro SD card, and an optional USB to SD adapter. Your first point of reference will be wanboard.org. On the landing page, you'll find all kinds of news and exciting updates. So there's also a really useful Google group forum where you can gain access to all kinds of other documentation. Um, you can participate in the Wanboard discussion. You can browse some of the other neat projects that are out there and also save a lot of time by taking advantage of the uh, community support that's available for your uh, prototyping needs. So the next place you're going to want to visit is this downloads page where you can actually find pre-compiled binaries for uh, various Linux, Android, Yocto, uh, Ubuntu, and there's also uh, some source code and uh, the, the Linux onboard Linux kernel is available. Um, they give you access to their Git tree as well. So now if we return to the downloads page, I'll go through the process of writing the operating system to, uh, to the micro SD card. So we can click on the Android Jelly Bean demo, which is completely ready to go, and uh, just save it to the computer. Next, simply download and extract the zip file into a new directory. So once the Android zip file is finished extracting, we can go into the new folder and they've actually included some special software, this Win32 Disk Imager. That allows us to uh, write a raw image to a removable device, which in our case is the SD card. So now we want to unpack this zip file. Find the executable file in the new folder right click and hit run as administrator. Using the folder icon search for the .image file which was previously downloaded. You can now go ahead and insert your USB to micro SD adapter. Lastly hit right and you'll be notified when the device is ready. When the disk imager is done, uh, insert the micro SD card to the bootable drive on the top of the board. To power up, connect a 5 volt 2 amp power supply. Um, you're going to want to plug in a display via HDMI as well as a USB mouse. Um, so that's it, and uh, stay tuned for more advanced onboard tutorials in the future. Thanks for watching.